What's going on guys, Nick Hellman here, aka the Crypto Hitman, and Bitcoin is $50,000. This video I'm going to do a quick rundown of some of the assets that we're currently trading and holding, and what my thesis is for what's going on in the markets. To start this video, my decision making is a little skewed, or a little delayed. Why is that? I did a spaces earlier with Trueflation, and they're actually projecting that the CPI numbers that the government is going to release tomorrow is going to be down at 2.5% inflation. This is much lower than what the market expectations are. And if we come in at that percentage and the market isn't expecting it, I think that does give the stocks another green bar, at least for a trading session. Now, that could be a major top in uh, stocks for a reversal, which would put some pressure on Bitcoin. But keeping that in the back of my head, if Trueflation is right, we probably see another green day out of stocks tomorrow, which probably propels Bitcoin even higher, even though that's crazy to say. Now, from a TA perspective here on Bitcoin, this is much higher than I even thought. Because if this is a bullet flag here, the measured move would have put you up here around $48,000, I believe. We broke up above this uptrend line. We broke above the previous high. Now we're sitting here right around $50,000. But whew, if you want to err with the side of caution, we do have a pretty significant bearish divergence here on the hourly and the four hour with a price and RSI. This would be a decent spot for this to back test this channel back to 48,000. And it still wouldn't be crazy. This could also be, if you're a super bear, this is the B of an ABC down. A, B. We see a C back down here in the low 40s, high 30s again. That's pretty crazy to think that that's a possibility, but that is a possibility for the bearish count. Needless to say, I'm ultimately been saying Bitcoin 100,000 by the end of 2024. But this isn't an area to go all in. If anything, this is a dollar cost area, dollar cost average area. But this is a logical place to see some consolidation. Now, if Trueflation's right and those inflation numbers come in and stocks go up again tomorrow, well, Bitcoin probably spurts again. I mean, this is getting a little wild. And you have to think at some point, the Bitcoin halving narrative comes into play. We haven't really been hearing it all that much. We're only like 70 days out. We haven't. When does Larry Fink and BlackRock start saying, do you understand that the dollar is inflating? But Bitcoin, every four years, its inflation gets cut in half. And guess what? It's going to happen again here in 30 days, in 60 days. What do you think that does? Probably a buy the rumor, sell the news event happens. I don't know where we go leading into having my projection from the early days when Bitcoin was 17,000. You know, it seems like forever ago, but it really wasn't that long ago. Is a $50,000 Bitcoin before the halving. Well, here we are. Here's 50,000. But we haven't really had that full ramp up yet. Could it get above it? The ETF is Buy, bringing in a lot of buying, so it is potential. Ugh. Coinbase and these other crypto-related stocks have rallied nicely. We're up 12% on our newest Coinbase position. Yes, every single trade has been a winner, and we're up 12%. Now, I will be monitoring this. We are now sitting above nicely, above this 300 moving average, so that's good to see. MicroStrategy has been explosive. Floki's coming back alive, up 4% today. INJ, when I got my eye on, I think this could be a big performer. And uh, I want to get another entry in INJ. I'm trying to have patience here because Bitcoin is just crazy right now. Manto, we sold, sold it higher than this, 287. A lot of uh, tokens are coming into the marketplace here in the next month. Uh, we did sell it higher. Maybe I'll take another trade on that if I get a better uh, altcoin season indicator. And, of course, Ethereum, uh, 2648, up 5% today. I have been saying Ethereum spot ETF in May of 2024. When does that hype cycle begin? Shortly after the Bitcoin happening, maybe? Give it a good month. The next review, it's going to get approved in May 2024. That's what I've been saying. Will I be right again? I said from the very beginning when everybody in September was saying Bitcoin spot ETF is coming. I said January or March of 2024. When did it happen? Ding, ding, ding. Now I've been saying May 2024 for Ethereum. When's that going to happen? Will I be right? That would be a massive alt season when that happens. You notice how I said when, not if. That's how confident I am in the predictions lately. Now concerning some of your favorite coins, a huge influx of tokens are coming to the market and have been coming into the market for the month of February. SUI had uh, a bunch February 3rd. It did cause a minor dip on the chart, but that thing has been up and to the right since then with the strength of Bitcoin and the entire market. Um, another one that I hear you guys talk about a lot is Ape. This one's already been going down and to the right. Uh, big unlock. 15.6 million coins. 2.58% of the circulating supply in three days. 
Manta, this is what I'm talking about, February 18th, six days, 6.67 million coins, 2.66% of the circulating supply coming to the uh, network there. Now, will they be dumped? Where are they going? Is the team going to use them smart? We'll see. Um, I think this could be front run to the downside, and if there is a sell-off there, there is a kind of a window before the next batch of tokens. I think that could be a good trade entry. The last big trade we had was rotating out of Arbitrum and OP for profits into INJ and Manta for profits. Those outperformed. We took profits on those. And now we're kind of sitting here with cash looking for the next rotation we want to do. OP obviously rallied really hard off the lows. Does that money flow into INJ and Manta again after this unlock? That's something we'll be watching and something you should join patreon.com slash learn crypto if you want to know when we do it. Rose is another one you guys talk about a lot. February 19th, big number. And then OP, been on a rip off the lows, but February 29th, big number, 77 million worth. It's pretty wild. Let's see here. What else did I have up here that I want to look at? Render token, RNDR, one that has been looking pretty good on the software. My only concern is these tokens are coming out. When does this stop? Beeple has been earning 111111 every month on the month since generation. Now, it is 33 days, so we are past it. Do we see another big one of these marketing payments? Look at this. Marketing payment every month. Big numbers. Do we see another 1.5 million, another 111,000 for render coming to the market here in the next couple days? It is Monday after the Super Bowl. It's not wild that you haven't seen these yet. And Beeple's wallet, now he might move stuff around. He only has 111,000 in there, but he's received 1.5 million. Does he sell it? I mean, do you blame him? That's 500,000 a month he's making. For being an advisor. Creating artwork on the platform. Overpaid if you ask me. This is their uh, treasury wallet. That's what I've been watching. So that one does interest me. It looks really good on the charts. On the indicators it looks good. I don't like seeing this every month. That means in the next day or two. Two million tokens. Do they get sold and then we buy that dip? That would be an educated guess. That would be solid. <laughs> Pulse Chain, killing the game. Pulse Chain, killing the game. I like the way that sounds. I've been telling you guys. Oh my gosh, so many videos. Beating it like a fucking drum. Here's the triangle breakout even draw in real time. Whoa, look at that. I said if we get above this high, guess what? Green bars. What do we get? Green bars. Back tested to that previous high. And we're rallying again. A little bit of a sell-off here from the Soy Boys. But if we get above these highs, ooh, baby. Here comes the fun. Measured move. And the Elliott Wave. Fibonacci's put you in this range. Where's that from here even? I mean, the breakout, I did the video right here. I mean, 77%, 80%, up to 110%. And from even now, you're not late to the party, folks. You're looking at, you know, another 40 to 65% just for the next impulse. Just for the next impulse on PLSX. Same applies for PLS, that's Pulse Chain, the INC, and Hex. If you don't know what this ecosystem is, DM me. I'll help you. I'll walk you through it, happily walk you through. And after I walk you through, and after you make money, then I know you're going to join our private group, patreon.com slash learn crypto, because you want to make more money. That's how confident I am in this idea. PLS is equivalent to Ethereum. It is the network token. Pulsex is equivalent to Uni on steroids because that is a buyback and burn. It's already bought back and burned 3.42% of its supply. 699 billion PLSX. Okay? INC is the, is the incentive token. If you farm, you earn this. It's kind of a dump forever token. On the upside, it's been doing well, though, because it's a very small supply. Liquidity pairings drag it higher. We sell the INC uh, once a week as we earn it. That's our dollar cost average on the exit side, rotating it into PLS, PLSX, or other altcoin opportunities that we'll discuss here in a second. And then, of course, Hex. This is kind of the original. This is a uh, bank CD on steroids. Richard's Heart, original uh, genius, went 10,000% or 10,000x, whatever it was, last cycle. Do I think it does it again? I don't know. You got a, it's a, you got a lot of holders there, uh, but it is going to do well due to liquidity pairing and... You know, if you're the type that likes the passive income, you buy Hex, you lock it up, you earn that passive income. Simple as that. Done. It's a bank CD on steroids. That's the best way to describe it, in my opinion. Now, as for altcoins on Pulse Chain, well, I told you. I told you. PTGC, I've given you a buy here. 
I've given you a buy here. Look at these percentage games. Another buy here in a live show. Another buy here to the Patreon group. And then I told everybody when I was on Coach X's live show. Bought the exact dip. Well, what do you know? That is now the uptrend line. And it's forming a bullish formation with a measure move breakout. Up 63% from the current price. Do we retest down here? Possibly. But I don't think I have the wall to dress up. I don't, and I don't feel like looking for it or showing you private DMs. But the Treasury wallet, if you look at the OA wallet of this project, they have over 600 million PLSS PLS in their wallet. What do they do with those? Well, <laughs> they swap those for their own token and then they burn it. Do you know how much money 600 million PLS is worth? Let's see here. 600... $86,884 at current prices. What happens if they take $86,000 and dump it into this with 790000 liquidity? Explosive. So if you want to play the weight game and you want to see if you can dip here another 10%, 20%, or, you know, I see uh, some of the other big influencers, so many guys, love the guys, they they just don't truly know the power of PTGC. I tried to give them the alpha just recently in the tweet. Let's see if he takes my advice. They're looking for a retest back here of this previous high and into this zone. I just don't think the OA wallet's going to let it get that low, especially if the price chart of PLS continues to look like this. Continues to, to look like this. What do you know? It took out the previous highs. If you take out these highs, oh, whoop, look where the measured move is. 2X, 2X the sack rate. If PLS goes up, it drags PTGC higher, all while they have 100000 in the bank to deploy. Oh, we feel like burning a large percentage of supply. Buy, burn. So here's the formation. Here's another opportunity. Buy it here. Buy it on this retest. Buy it. Please. Thank you. And if you think for some reason you missed the boat on that, here's its little brother, Alien. Yep, told you buy here. Yep, told you buy here. Yep, did a live show here. This is an opportunity, much smaller market cap, less liquidity, less volume. So there is going to be more slippage and higher risk on this. But it is connected to PTGC. It benefits PTGC. And what do you know? Look at this. Just an idea. Quick idea. You show me a chart, I give you an idea. There you go. What happens if that breaks out? Well, the measured move off of this right here is going to put you slightly above the all-time highs. Or if you're super bullish, maybe you say you do the whole flag here. Now, this would be super bullish. Let's take it one step at a time. But what happens here? I don't know. You tell me. That looks like higher, huh? That looks like you should be buying it, huh? <sighs> Quick double up. No big deal. While earning reflection rewards uh, in PTGC, in 808, in Liquid. Yes, you earn like three, four, five tokens for free by holding Alien. Not making it up. Why do you think we're up so much and I haven't sold it? It's an easy, comfy hold. If you think Pulse Chain is going higher, if you think Pulse X is going higher, Teddy Bear, Atropa, all those, guess what? You hold these, you get exposure to those, and you moon. That's what I love on that one. What else do you guys want? Well, we got ORNJ here. What's special about Orange? It's the first BRC20 I've ever bought and ever told anybody to buy. Guess when we bought it? Four cents, seven cents, ten cents. Yes, it's at 48 cents. Now, I'm watching a downtrend line on that. That, if it gets broken, will take another entry if it breaks that downtrend line. I'm not going to show that. You can see it really small up here. I'm not going to show that because that is for patreon.com slash learn crypto members. But put ORNJ on your radar. If it breaks that downtrend line, it is going to go higher for the next two to three weeks. Okay, mark my words. The first ever BRC20 I've ever owned or called to buy is currently up over 10x. In 12 days. That happened. And what about this one? Oh, Gora. Oh, Nick, you talk about Gora because they sponsor Learn Crypto. Shout out to Gora.io. Check them out. Sponsors of Learn Crypto.io. Thank you for keeping our lights on. Yes, they do. But guess what? We gave you a buy at 16 cents, at 18 cents, at 20 cents, at 28 cents. Where are we at? 43.78 cents. And guess what? Gora isn't even EVM compatible yet. We saw with Cadi. Let's look at Cadi here to give an example. When they announced EVM compatibility, what happened? What happened? 
Oh, a quick 102%. What do you think Gora does? Much smaller market capitalization and a first cycle coin. Only available right now on an Algorand Dex and MEXC. What do you think happens when they get EVM compatibility? Is that a green candle? Is that a rocket ship? Or is that my pants? I don't know. That's what's going to happen. A minimum of a dollar right on the announcement of EVM compatibility once they get on Uniswap. Minimum. It'll still be about 10x under value. So buy Gora. Yeah, you should probably do that. And uh, delegate it to the Ferrum Network Validator for 17% APR. Paid out in Gora. So this whole time we've been earning 17% APR in Gora. Well, guess what? The Gora price keeps going higher. That APR in real in real, unrealized USD terms, much higher than 17%. Much higher than 17%. Now, how do we get access to all the various pre-sales that we've been killing the game on? That is Ferrum. Ferrum, I told you, at two and a half, three and a half, five cents. That's six six now. It wicked as high as almost ten cents. You buy it, you stake it, and you get access to pre-sales. Dead Prez are up twenty x. They're about to launch Block Jerk, Arcx, Yakdao, Trueflation is incubated by them, and Trueflation is partners with Chainlink and Coinbase. Well. Buy Ferrum, DM me, I'll get you sorted, we'll get you taken care of, and you'll start getting these pre-sales, and you'll start killing the game. You'll have tokens before anybody else does, before the general public even knows they exist, before they're even minted on the blockchain. That is the power of Ferrum Network, and you're not getting in the public round like Launchpad, you're not getting a $200 allocation, you're getting in private rounds with $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 allocation sizes. Be the VC, my friend. Be the VC. I'm sure I'm forgetting some things, but that's kind of a quick rundown here of some of the assets that we're looking at, price points we're looking at, projections for Bitcoin here, and uh logical place for Bitcoin to slow down, but my gosh, the, this complacency rally has been insane. Bitcoin spot ETFs continue to buy, and Truflation is saying that the inflation rate is going to be 2.5% announced tomorrow. If that's anywhere close to correct, stocks probably green bar again, and Bitcoin probably follows. That's all I got for you guys. A little hungover, a little sassy. We won a lot of bets yesterday on the Super Bowl. Feeling good? Let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are. Join us, patreon.com slash learn crypto. Hit follow for our free updates here. Join us for free on Patreon. You get some of the updates and see if you want to upgrade to the page subscription. That's fine too. I hope you start listening to some of our picks because we are absolutely killing the game. And we need to get on the right side of these large caps once again for the easy to double digit gainers. All right. Love you guys. Nick Hellman, Crypto Hitman. Smash that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.